Lucy thinks you should keep the baby. Yeah, I know what Lucy thinks. Are you sure about this? Are you really ready to give her up? Don't you start. You should listen to your mum. She could help you. Why don't you just mind your own business? I won't leave now, okay? I'm gonna go home and meet up with well, you. You can't leave now. Who's gonna look after Rhonda's friend? What? Well, she's not gonna leave her girlfriend high and dry, is she? That'd be really bad for him. Look what he's doing here, Vince. He needs an ally. He knows how you feel about him, so he's manipulating you. He wouldn't do that. He's a friend of mine. It happens. He wouldn't lie to me, Steve. He wouldn't. Well, and I would. I thought Boris asked you to take those out. Yeah, in a minute. We'll be back in a sec. I'd get rid of him if I were you. Lay off forever, right? Hey, don't let Boris get to you. He's been dark all morning. Besides, we'll be out of here shortly. We can get cracking on the film. We've already wasted enough time. Look, I don't know, OK? But you're our camera guy. You can't back out. Look, ask Fee to do it, all right? She's hopeless. Last time she filmed it was so shaky, it was like a, a remake of Earthquake. Look, as long as we get a couple of scenes done, we'll be finished in no time. We need you, Vince. If it's going to be good, we've all got to work together. Hello? Hey, uh, Lucy, is Jack up yet? Um, not sure. Hang on. Jack! What? He's now. <laughs> Thanks. Um, how's Belinda going? Yeah, she's all right. I thought I might visit her today. Yeah? Yeah, see if the baby needs anything. Um, are you sure that's a good idea? Look, I know I was pretty full on last week, so I just want to let her know that I'm sorry and that whatever she decides to do with the baby is her business. I think she'd really appreciate that. Ah, uh, hang on. Here's the night owl now. It's Terry. She called ten times last night. Hi, babe. Where did you get to? I mean, I phoned there and Doug's mobile. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were working. Doug must have turned it off. Working? Where were you working at? I mean, you weren't in at half past ten. Uh, we were at the pub. They wanted some wiring done before the weekend. A pub? Yeah. Look, I'm still a bit bushed. Oh, well, you can make it up to me tonight, then, or is work still going to be on? No, no, it'll be over. Look, um, I've got to go. I've got an early start. He asks a bit of you, doesn't he? Yeah, sometimes too much. All right, well, I'll see you tonight, then. OK. I love you. I'll see you then. Bye. What? Nothing. Not my business. Here he is, eh, Paul McCann? Have a nice little lion, did we? Oh, what time did you get up? Mate, I've been colouring in pirate ships since half past five. Considering Sharon put the kids to bed last night, thought the least I could do was get up with a shift. Well, what time did you get home? Oh, a little after one. Still had a bit of work to do on that job after you left. <laughs> How'd you pull up this morning? <sighs> Not the best. Chico roll and a can of Coke, that'll fix you up. It was a good night, though, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, say it like you mean it, Jack. You don't get out much, do you? Well, all the time. Not without Terry, I bet. Well, what about you? Mm, not all that often. Two or three times since I've been married. Are you worried about me? Nah. Well, in about ten years' time, you'll understand where I'm coming from. But I won't drag you there again if you don't want to go. Look, look, I don't mind going to the pub and having a few drinks after work. Yeah, sure. Anything else you want to ask me? No. You sure? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm sure. Come on, let's get started, eh? to see you. Me or the baby? No, you. Look, I'm not here to argue. I'm here to apologise for last week. Great, thanks. I mean it, Belinda. I'm really sorry. I was thinking of the baby, that's all. Do you think I'm not? I just thought if I could get your mum to talk to you, you might change your mind. I know what I want to do. Well, fine, if it is really what you want to do. It is. Okay. We could use the stairs as long as we don't annoy anyone. Well, what have you got in mind? You guys are just telling me you don't have anything in mind. No, no, well, we thought we were going to improvise as we went along. Yeah, um, we didn't want to be held back by a script, you know. Oh, I knew this was a waste of time. Um, don't panic. We just need to be a bit creative. Yeah, yeah, and I'm really good at that stuff. Right, Rude? If you say so. Well, look. I don't think Delia had anything to do with the stairwell fee. Oh, well, there was one in the building. Um, maybe we could do a scene where she decides to leave home. Yes, yes. And every step she takes to the outside world is like her descent into hell. I still think we need a script. No, 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 no look. Scripts just constrain the creative process, Vinny, OK? This could be a stairwell if you look at it that way, right? But this, this could be a stack of stuff, like... Oh, bars. Bars. And Dilly is stuck. Stuck behind the bars, get it? But... Are they real? Or am I in a prison? A prison in my own mind? Um, I don't think Delia looked at things that way. No, no, look, let's just shoot a few takes and see how the idea evolves, OK? Fine. <clears throat> Still think we need a script. When I saw her lying there, I have never felt anything like it before in my life. She was so beautiful and so fragile and totally dependent on all those around her. Stop it, Lucy. What? Can't you talk about the weather or something? Not that you're avoiding the issue. Belinda, you don't have to give her up. There are support groups, people who could help you. I could help you. Stop it, Lucy. Sorry. Come on, you. What? You're, are you breastfeeding? Not really. The nurses keep pushing me to do it for the baby, so I'm sort of stuck with it. Am I doing it right? Oh, you're doing a great job. She's sucking really well. You still haven't named her. No, I don't want to. I think whoever brings her up should name her. Don't you reckon? Well, no. But if you... Well, don't... I do. She's found her fairy godmother. Mate, I think we've arrived just in the nick of time. But will things go smoothly? You shall go to the ball, Cinderella, and have the wedding of your dreams. Or will history repeat itself? The biggest surprise is yet to come. It's a week of complications. I must have thought you'd finally got rid of me last week. Confrontations. Who the hell do you think you are? Half-truths. Who the hell was that? And outright lies. What on earth have you been telling your friends? It's not to be missed. In future, just keep your feelings to yourself. Neighbours. Weeknights. It's Rowan Jarman's traditional stock take sale with even bigger store-wide savings. Champion sweat save $40. Fila trainers half price save $80. And Fila tracksuits also save a huge $80. The traditional stock take sale on now at Rowan Jarman's Sport Superstores. Call us now and we can talk to you about whatever you want to talk about on 1900 12 6000. If you're alone, then call us. It's easy. Just call 1900 12 6000. This is an anaesthetic.
This much will let your cat have a painless de-sexing operation. This much will make an unwanted kitten sleep forever. Now, take your pick. Call 9381-3849 for information on discount operations. Goodbye, farewell. Crown Persian Gallery closing doors for good. Monday, 5th of July. The squeeze is on. Creditors demand payments. We're closing down. Don't miss out. This is your last chance to save thousands. Beauty of Sultan, $399. Fine Chinese wool, $149. Fashion designer rugs liquidated. Wool in Chinese, less than wool price. Or this, just $25. We must leave. Come to 118 Rose Street and if you don't like the price, make an offer. No reasonable offer refused. What about that Ronda, eh? Talk about legs. Thought I'd died and gone to Dougie Heaven. I did see him, you know. Thought you weren't paying attention. Yeah, well, I couldn't miss him, could I? Oh, you know, maybe there's hope for you yet. You know, don't you ever wonder what Sharon might think? I know exactly what Sharon would think. But it doesn't stop you, though, does it? Well, stop me doing what, Jackie boy? A few winks of laugh and a couple of beers. What do you think happened last night? Well, I don't know. I guess I just don't like lying. All oh, right, I get you. So you told Terry that we were having a few beers at the pub with a couple of chicks who had legs that went on forever, right? Are you kidding? If I said that, I'd end up in hospital. Well, there you go. Sometimes you've got to stretch the truth a little. Anyway, I reckon I know what's really bothering you. What? Hang out with a bloke as handsome as me. You never get first pick, eh? <laughs> okay. I've got focus. Okay. Recording. Action. Bars. But are they real? Or am I in a prison? A prison in my own mind. Cut. We need a script. How was it? Oh, really good. Great. Uh, terrific. Just... Uh, sort of, uh, sort of theatrical. Yeah. But it wasn't dramatic. Yeah, sort of, just not quite dramatic. That's <clears> it. <throat> what do you mean? She needed to break free, break free from the world. I don't think a flight of stairs made her feel that way. Yeah, of course not, dummy. These stairs represent her addiction, you know? It's like a downward spiral. Once she started using, then, you know, that was the end of her. Yeah, but not everyone who uses gets hooked. Well, heaps of them do. No, they don't. They do, Vince. They spend years saying they're not, and then one day they rock up dead. Just like Delia. And that's the point of the film. That's why I wanted to make sure it's true. It's got to be true. Yeah, but not everyone who touches it gets addicted. Look, a junkie's not going to tell you if they're addicted. You know, they won't even admit it to themselves, let alone anyone else. But it depends on the person, though, right? Yeah, I suppose. Look, can we just get back to the film? I'm just going to leave you guys to it, okay? What? I, no, you can't leave now. I just don't feel like doing it, okay? But, well, we haven't finished. Well, we'll manage. Well, Vince, thanks a lot. Yes, hello, could I please uh, be put through to Peter Hirsch's office? Thank you. Yes, hello, hi. Oh, sorry, um, uh, do you know where he would be? Right. Okay, well, I'll try him home then. Thank you. <laughs> oh, left these in the car. I thought you might want to...
Harry there. Okay, little one. I'm gonna take you for a lovely walk. Would you like that? Yeah. Oh, can you hear that? It's a bird and it's singing. It's saying hello to you. Oh, and look at the fountain over there. See the birds on the fountain? Sometimes water comes out of it. Yeah. You're so beautiful. You know, if you were mine, I'd never let you go. like he's trying to get something out of his system. Yeah. This isn't just my acting, is it? I mean, there is something else wrong. It must be. Hey. Hey. Do you want to see what we shot? Yeah. Okay. Just grab some water. Well, does it work? It should. Give me a second. Bars. But are they real? Or am I in a prison? A prison in my own mind. Cut. Recording. Well, it's not that bad. Action. Well, it's not Delia, though. Bars. Yeah, but what if we cut the last line? I think it needs a bit more than that. Guys, it's terrible. I don't even know why we bothered in the first place. Oh, thanks a lot. What are you talking about, Ruben? It's not only not Delia, it's not anybody. Nobody goes around talking like that. It was just a waste of time. What's your problem, man? No, no, Jack. No, he's no. been doing nothing but bag everybody out all day. If you've got something to say, Vince, say it. Just don't get it, do you? Why did you have to be so aggressive? Me? He's the one with the bug up his nose. Yeah, but there's obviously something wrong, Reuben, okay? Can't you see that? So it's the same tattoo that was on the other two victims. Someone's after witches. You have no idea what evil is out there. Oh, I think we've got a pretty good idea. Shannon Doherty, Holly Marie Combs, and Alyssa Milano are charmed soon on Tim. Today's best music, the new 96FM. 96 96FM 96 presents The Guide. The Left Bank Cafe Bar Restaurant presents the best end of the working week in town. Friday night, Daniel Rata Live. Stay for dinner and sample the new winter menu from their upstairs restaurant. The Left Bank, it's your pub, second into it this weekend. Kick off your weekend at the post office with the ultimate night out, Frantic Fridays. Three hours of fun, giveaways and all your favourites from the 80s. Frantic Fridays at the post office, corner Aberdeen and Parker Northbridge. The Bog Restaurant Fremantle opens 8pm Thursday, July 1st. Looking for somewhere new to dine? Then experience True Irish hospitality and the best of Irish cuisine at the Bog Restaurant upstairs 189 High Street, Fremantle. Metropolis Northbridge presents sultry seduction of Latin dance, hot bodies, cold daiquiris, Friday night sky bar. Saturday night it's the WA Fashion Week wrap party with Kate Sobrano. Metropolis Northbridge, be early. All doors lead to the crack this weekend for good times, huge crowds and sensational entertainment. Starting with Steel Rex and the Beautiful People Friday, Ariel Saturday and Wax Live on Sunday. The crack, it's Irish for good times. Today's best music, the new 96 FM. The Tea Party returns. The Tea Party. Don't miss the unique sound of the Tea Party. Tickets on sale now. This is Domino's Stockman's Pizza. Ain't she a beaut? Quality stock, rump steak, bacon, onion, real tomato and barbecue sauce. And that's no bull. Domino's. At Hoffman's, we take the risk. If we take on your motor vehicle injury claim, and for any reason it does not succeed, you pay us no solicitor's fee. Hoffman's, 9221-2211. Why settle for less? At the special adult time of 9.30 tonight. If ever there's another man, take him. Based on the most controversial love story ever written. Say you'll never break it off between us. The original uncensored version of Lady Chatterley's Lover, tonight on 10. 
Honestly, mate, if you're gonna buy your lady a present, never go cheap. Spend, spend, spend. Well, Terry says she's not interested in that stuff. It's a wonder you two are still together, you know. Well, money's not so important to her. She says so herself. Oh. Sharon said that to me once, too. It's stupid old me took her at face value, didn't I? Didn't get her anything for her birthday, just got her a card. And what happened? Ever wonder why I limp? You don't limp. <laughs> Near enough. Had to go down to the all-night chemist and get her a bottle of perfume. <laughs> Pretended it was a joke, of course. Yeah, well, won't it seem a bit strange if I turn up with a present out of the blue? I do it all the time. Hey, um, maybe you should come with me, pick something up for Terry. No, I reckon Terry would start getting pretty sus if I did something like that. As if I had something to hide, you know? Yeah, well, uh, obviously Terry and Sharon are two very different people. Look, mate, um, maybe I should just drop you home, okay? yet. Oh dear, don't leave it too long. Her guardian angel won't know where to find her if she doesn't have a name. Her guardian angel? Yes dear, all babies have guardian angels. Yeah, right. Oh shh, shh, little one, shh. Oh shh, shh, shh. She's hungry. Yeah. If you want to feed her, Oh, I won't mind. Um, I've got to get going anyway. Nice to meet you, um... Eloise. Eloise. Well, I'll see you in the car. Bye. Hey. What's wrong? Nothing ever seems to go right. Steve's making Peter move out of his flat. Why? He reckons he's a dealer. I mean, he doesn't even have any evidence, though. I mean, not solid, rock-hard evidence. Well, what do you think? I don't know what to think. Who am I supposed to believe? Peter or Steve and Boris? Boris? Yeah, well, Steve went and told him. So I got a lecture off him as well, telling me how he doesn't want me to be stupid. I mean, you'd think he'd have a bit more trust in me, faith. Well, what did Peter say about it? He just says that he's not into it. That the stuff that Steve found was a mate of his. What stuff? Steve found stuff in his flat. Right, so there is evidence. Yeah, kind of. Fee, I have never seen him take anything at all. But you're not sure, eh? I don't know what I'm sure of. The only thing I do know is I can't lose this guy. I really love him. I didn't mean to wake you. Oh, no, for me? Yeah, I thought the place could do with some cheering up. Oh, thank you. They're beautiful. Mm. So, where's the bubby? Well, she should be here. Oh, the nurses have probably got her. But she was sleeping. Why would they take her? Um, they might have put her in the nursery. Without a crib? I'm going to get some. Uh, no, look, I'll go. No one on duty knows anything, but there was a change of shift about an hour ago, so they're trying to call them. Now, security's already been told, so they're searching the entire hospital. But Belinda, try not to worry and stay calm. Please don't worry. I mean, they're going to find her. She'll be all right and it'll work out. I, I know it will.
It's gonna be a lot of testosterone flying around here today. He goes by the book. The Rock and Archie show. But before it's all over, he acts like a cop. He'll break all the rules. Archie Mulder joined the arrest. Now, the only person he can trust, but he is sweet on his guy, is the man he betrayed. It's Rowan Jarman's traditional stock take sale with even bigger store wide savings. Russell Athletic save $40. Essex Junior Sweats and Pants only $15. And Nike Air save a huge $50. The traditional stock take sale on now at Rowan Jarman Sports Superstores. Do you like a chat? I'm always on the line. Call me now and we can talk about whatever you want to talk about on 1-900-124-888. Come on, give it a go. If you're alone, then call me. I want to talk to you now. It's easy. Just call 1-900-124-888. That's 1-900-124-888. Oh, Ben, you're such a great lover. Do you like it when I kiss you? <laughs> there. I'm fantasizing we're on a deserted island. What about you? <laughs> Goodbye, farewell. Crown Persian Gallery closing doors for good. Monday, 5th of July. The squeeze is on. Creditors demand payment. We are closing down. Don't miss out. This is your last chance to save thousands. Beauty of Tabriz, $699. Pure Silk Coom, $1,250. Hamadan, $199. Or this one, $99. We must leave. Come to 118 Rose Street. And if you don't like the price, make an offer. No reasonable offer refused.